What's up, YouTube? Went to Target and got Sweet Spot Baseball, which I absolutely despise this product this year, but I just wanted to see if the retail version, although it's hobby cards, but it's a retail setup, I want to see if it's better than the hobby version, which I'm sure it is. I'm confident that I'll get a better autograph or memorabilia card in here than I've gotten in the hobby boxes. Anyway, I just cut it open just so it'd be easier. It's pretty thick plastic. You can see it's 30 bucks at Target. A lot bigger tin, obviously. Completely different setup. So I like this tin. If there away all the little tins, I might keep this big one. All different sizes, I don't know. This is kind of thin. I'll start with the thin one. Hopefully we do get an autograph. It's not guaranteed. We guaranteed a memorabilia card. That's all. But uh I've been guaranteed that before and didn't get it, so we'll see. It's a bunch of base. Uh, Joe DiMaggio, Yankee Stadium Legacy, pretty cool. Still weird for me to see Adam Dunn in the uh, Diamondback stuff. Kind of odd. Watched him play in Cincinnati so long. So 2008 Sweet Spot Baseball, Viper Nick. Hobby cards and a retail setup. There's Dice Game and Jabba back to back, pretty cool. The exact same Joe D. I think it's the like completely identical. Yeah, it is. That's really weird. Wow, good job, Upper Deck. Good job. Get a Longoria autograph or something. Come on now. I think it's just going to be a jersey card. Uh, wasted 30 bucks, whatever. At least I got a card. Dice K. <coughs> Phil Rizzuto. Another Adam Dunn, Levin, and Jeremy Bonderman, Sweet Swatch. Pretty terrible, but it's worth a shot. I just want to see if it was uh, less terrible than the hobby boxes, and it's really not. But at least they gave me what they told me they'd give me. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.